Brian Garcia was tweeting away, saying he would knock out Boots. <laughs> Let's bring him on. Come on. Talk. He, all he do is talk, he tweet. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm here to. I'm here to. I'm here to make history. You know, I guarantee you I'll put him out. Everybody's criticizing Boots and his performance last night, but the reality is this: Boots is still a very good fighter. Does he has holes in his defense? Yes. Has he fought many fighters that could ex that could expose that? No, he is not. Now, if I'm Boots Simmons, I'm looking to stay at 147. Clean out 147. Work on your craft. As as Terrence Crawford has said to you, you can fix your defense. You have the athleticism, the reflexes, etc., etc., to clean that up. But all this about Ryan and all these other guys that'll whoop him, hold your horses, pump the brakes. Because the same way he has deficiencies in his defense, so does Ryan Garcia. Ryan falls back. Ryan dips back and drops the right. And Tank Davis made that quite apparent. Tank Davis used some of the same tactics that Luke Campbell used against Ryan Garcia, noticing that Ryan goes straight backwards. Mixed up his punches going high and going low on him and eventually caught him going backwards. Now Tank didn't get the knockout, but he but he did a lot of eating on Ryan, forcing him to go backwards and mixing up whether he was going to the head and the body the same way Luke Campbell did. You can outbox Ryan as well, don't forget. Even though he might embarrass Devin Haney and knock him down and beat him up, etc. etc. Devin Haney was actually our boxing Ryan Garcia in the first half of the fight out. So Ryan Garcia talking about how he'll whoop Boots. Like I said, pump the brakes, dude. You're very much hittable as Boots is. And I do believe Boots have more weapons on offense. That's that's the difference between the two. Ryan has one great weapon. Boots has an arsenal of weapons in, in his uh, war chest. Ron might have the better of all the weapons, but Boots have more weapons than Ron Garcia. But it's going to be very interesting to see what happens when Ron comes back. What weight class is he going to be contending in? If it's 147, eventually I do believe those two will fight with both of them showcasing their wares on the zone. It's bound to happen, especially if Eddie Hearn. And, and, and Matchroom and Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya decide to do this five on five. I'm Eddie Hearn. I'm demanding that it be Boots versus Ryan because Boots fight at 147. And if that's where Ryan Garcia is going to be campaigning, I say make, make him have to run in there with Boots. Put your money where your mouth is. And one last thing, far as Boots' performance, that might have been the best thing that could have happened to Boots. Because if I'm Stanley Onis, if I'm Mario Barrios, if I'm uh, uh, Norman Jr., I'm thinking maybe, maybe I can actually beat this guy. Maybe this fight, those other fights will be a whole lot easier to make now that, voop, that, voop, <laughs> that boots look a whole lot more vulnerable than what people thought. But as I said, does he have holes in his defense? Yes, he does. But that offense didn't look like anything was wrong with his offense. You better, you better make sure you can take what he's going to bring to the table when you decide to get in the ring with him. And that's definitely a shot at you, Ryan Garcia, because he's going to bring a lot of offense. You're going to have a chance to hit him, but he's going to have a chance to hit you too. That's pretty much all I got to tell Bust Boxes on Fight Doctor. Hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Should Boots and Ron Garcia be something that's brought to the table with the zone? Whether it's the five on five with Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, and Golden Boy, and Oscar De La Hoya, or, or just them getting in the ring, period. Because that's probably the biggest fight the zone itself could make right now and 
if you're the other guys at 147 with titles, are you licking your chops to get a hold of Boots Ennis at this point? Those fights should be a whole lot easier to make now, in my opinion. But that's my opinion. Give me yours in the comment section. This head bust and box is on. Fight Dr. I am out.